Hello everyone, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Rare's new game uh, coming out next year, 2017, Sea of Thieves. Uh, one of my most hyped games next year. Um, it would, it's, it's up there. If it's not one, it's at least two. It's, it's, it's. Re I'm really excited for this game. Uh, from all that we've seen from it, uh, from the past two E3s, um, it looks great. And the trailer that they just recently showed, um, which they was talking about their technical alpha or whatever, um, and they showed lots of new gameplay, lots of things that you can do in Sea of Thieves. <clears throat> And it just looks amazing. I mean, it, the game looks like it's going to be just, you know, you get your buddies together and you just play for hours and hours and it's just going to be lots of fun. That's what that game looks like. You know, it really does. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about release dates, um, just what, just gameplay, all that stuff. I'm going to be talking about all that stuff in this video. So if you're interested in Sea of Thieves, make sure to uh, watch this video to, uh, you know, just kind of just talk about it you know because i mean if you're like me i love hearing about this game any information i can get i want to hear it so as far as release dates go let's go go through that first um it was like i thought sure that this game was gonna be a january to february game you know because a lot of people said that a lot of people that was rumored by a lot of people um i know a couple websites even leaked it um that it was coming out um January, February, uh, January, February, around that time frame. But I don't know. I've kind of got the feeling that it's not going to be a January to February game. But um, seeing that it, it is an alpha. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of looking at it from, uh, I would, in my, th in my opinion, I think it's a March to April game. I really do. I think it's a March to April game because if they're in an alpha right now, and I'm going to compare two different games and don't, don't, you know, don't even, you know, th even try to, you know, just the point is I'm going to be comparing Call of Duty and Sea of Thieves. So don't even hate on me. This is the only explanation I can really get. So, um, during the BO3 time frame, I remember, you know, them saying stuff like, uh, around when they announced it in April. Uh, before they announced it, they, they let some Call of Duty, you know, YouTubers come out and play the game. And they said it was in pre-alpha at that point. And they revealed Black Ops uh, 3 in around uh, April. It was at the end of April. So you're looking at April to May. And Call of Duty comes out every November. So that's about six months. It was in, no, it was in like pre-pre-alpha. I remember them saying that. It was very, very early. And so about that June to July segment was when they got into alpha. And then August was beta. And so I'm trying to, just trying to, you know, use those two together. And again, take it with a grain of salt because, I mean, they're two different games. But it, that would put, you know, again, I, I just think to see if this is going to be a, a, a April, May type game. Uh, I do think it's going to come out before E3, hopefully. Uh, but then again, they could just push it all the way back to next next fall to launch with Crackdown and Scalebound, and that would be the, that would be their fall lineup, you know, Scalebound, Crackdown, and Sea of Thieves and Scorpio, which is a pretty good pretty good holiday in my opinion. And that's what whatever else they announce. I mean, you know, it's hard to tell what they're going to announce. I mean, they could surprise everyone and announce a Sunset Overdrive two. Uh, comes out fall 2017 which would be a freaking dream come true for me but this is a sea of thieves video so yeah release dates may to april gameplay what they showed in the trailer was you know honey for buried treasure um you know you got to watch out for people trying to steal your treasure um because obviously it's a pirate game they're going to be trying to uh, steal your treasure whenever you can get it so you have to hide it on your ship and you have to uh, bring it to a trading post uh so you can trade in the uh, loot for money uh, or whatever. And uh, so that looks awesome. There was also showing a lot of, you know, being on the ship, you know, you're gonna have to, you can play music, which is really cool. Um, there's gonna be lots of customization too. You can customize, uh, customize your pirate, you can customize your ship. Um, 
and there's so much that they didn't get to go over in the trailer and you know just from watching that it just has me extremely excited for the game because rare was always a, a, a great company you know with the games they made the classic games they made and with the whole connect thing you know a lot of people hated on them um you know it, it wasn't rare that you know decided to do connect they was forced into doing connect but now they're getting to make games again and it's exciting hopefully they're making another banjo kazooie uh I, there was lots of rumors that rare was working on multiple projects not just sea of thieves so who knows maybe they put out sea of thieves pr uh, before e3 and they announce another game at e3 that would be pretty awesome um and you know as far as sea of thieves goes you know the, again the gameplay looks really really awesome they showed more uh you know weapons in this they you know, they showed a lot of uh, this uh really cool like almost shotgun looking thing this guy had it was it was pretty cool he off on the ship and shot some guy and uh, they was having like a little ship battle also if you die in the game you go to like this ghost pirate ship and they said if you do something or it was something like that if you do something and the captain's happy with you he might let you back to life a lot i can't talk he might bring you back to life also um if your ship sinks with the treasure there's a mermaid that you can get to rescue you and you might get you, you can get your ship back and maybe your goat or something like that so again uh sorry i didn't get to talk a lot of i mean i i was just trying to set up an analogy with the call of duty beta and this and it was really weird but if you guys do want me to make another video tell me and i will do another video to where i'm strictly just talking about safe days because i know in this video i was kind of going off a little bit but it was just i was trying to cover a lot of topics and stuff and it was just it was really weird to be honest with you but if you guys want to see another video of me explaining more of safe thieves i can go more in depth but i recommend that you go to the safe thieves youtube channel watch the trailer uh or not it's not a trailer it's like a technical alpha update type video but they show lots of good gameplay i recommend you go watch it and i recommend that everyone get hyped for this game because this game can be really good it's going to be a game that lots of people stream and i think it's going to be a big hit for xbox and hopefully it will be because rare really needs another one after that whole connect thing but Guys, I'm Wonder Fizz, and that's the new video. I don't know why I just said no video. That was weird. Uh, peace.